Okay guys, basically I'm back here, and this sure is gonna be a big video. Hopefully not too long of a one, but who knows. And as you saw from the title and video, I have some of the FNAF Circus merch. And just to show you, this, this is how much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, obviously there's things I'm missing here and there, uh, like some of the plushies. And I don't have the, all the action figures yet because, well, they haven't really released to the US yet. Uh, and, well, they haven't really been in stores yet. So, yeah, what you're getting right now is all you're going to get for now. Uh, until I can get the future merch and anything else to come when it decides to come out but as for now this is gonna be it not gonna waste any more time let's get into it <gasps> so i'm just gonna start this off with what everyone else uh, wants to see the plushies and uh, as of now i only have four i don't have circus bonnie because i he like because all the places i went to they didn't have him and sir and balloon chica is yet to be released uh so as of now this is all we have and to start off we have circus freddy which let me just say, this is an honest opinion, and I feel like most other people who love FNAF merch can agree that this merch that this merch line is overhated way too much. And I don't necessarily know the reason for why. Might be because it's too cutesy and not all FNAF, and it just like people might think it ruins the FNAF brand. Well, to think of it, you know, guys, like I don't, I don't really care, honestly. And besides, FNAF like can get really dark. Uh, especially in the books. Uh, and, you know, I mean, it's good to have some fresh air. And who knows, you know, it's like people have always speculated about the Balloon Circus merch being, you know, for the Ruin DLC. But we really don't know. And we're going to have to wait to find out. Uh, and yeah, we, we just don't know yet. And But here is the Circus Freddy plush. And he is really good, I will say. Uh, material soft as always, and good thing Funko did not revert back to security breach, and they probably won't ever do that ever again, hopefully. Uh, but I will say the printing on the, uh, the printing for this line is more kind of cheaper. I feel like, uh, like if, well, it feels cheaper mainly due to the black outlines, and like you know, the back, like, I feel like the black outlines just make this all look very cheap. And, but it doesn't make it feel cheap, but it looks cheap. Mainly for the fact that it's, you know, like, like whenever we get printing, like, like on here, there's no black outlines on here, obviously. So I don't understand why there is on these guys. So, but it really doesn't matter. It's all, it's going to matter to, to the perfectionists of FNAF merch and any merch, I feel like. But this is, you know, what we got. And uh, Circus Ready here has a little vest, which, uh, which only has three printed on white buttons on this side but not on the other side and it's not like a pattern or anything so i don't understand it's a weird character design but i don't really know and then we have his little white white paws right here which are meant to be his gloves probably as you can tell by you know the action figures and all that he's got his little red nose which the noses for these guys are different uh, like at least for like the clowns and everything the circus people like the noses are very much plastic clown noses and everything which I like cuz you know it looks looks cute uh, and I like it uh, now the eyebrows here are printed on which I don't understand why as long as well as the white ring around the eye but really the printing I don't give a crap about printing anymore as it's practically gonna never go away anymore uh, and I mean, okay, like, like obviously for the fanverse, that one, bar that wave barely had any printing. But either way, you know, it really doesn't matter to me. It's gonna matter to some people, which I don't get why. But as of right now, this is good enough, and I don't really have any other problems with it. Now we're going on to Circus Foxy, which this guy's obviously meant to be. You know, you guys obviously see the sad clowns, or you know, it's been a retrospective in uh, any piece of clown history or whatever. Uh, and obviously, he, Clown Foxy right here is meant to be that, uh, with his big clown nose like Freddy. The printing on here is more more noticeably cheap than Freddy. Like, obviously, you can see the black outlines, but they don't poke out that much. It does with this guy mainly for the vest, or no, the overalls. I don't know why I said vest. Uh, as you obviously, the black outlines, they're not too big, but they're very noticeable on these guys. Uh, but there is, like, some patchwork right here, which is a nice detail. I will say and also the printing like obviously if you move the fabric a certain way 
it'll feel like the sister, sister location type printing material and all that. Which, well, then again, it's not that bad. But I don't know if it will be a struggle for some people. And I literally just noticed this now, but his... Usually, the Foxy's little hair on the top usually just kind of pokes out in many different directions. But this, but this... For this, for Circus Foxy, it's swooshing, like, over to the right, or at least our right. Uh, and his ears are kind of sewn to give this little effect, I guess. Which, I don't, I don't really, don't really know how to feel about it. I mean, it's fine, but, yeah, well. Then he got his little gloves, white gloves or whatever. What they're supposed to be, his green pants, all that. Uh, and they actually, they actually printed it on his butt, unlike Monty. And he has a tail, which I actually like this tail. Like, it, it's cute, it's flat, and it's not... It's cute! I don't know what else I want to say. God dang it. Now getting on to our final two, which, starting off, we have Balloon Foxy, which this obviously represents a Foxy more. And I actually got this at a different Hot Topic, and I'll... Okay, basically, these two and the one I'm about to show uh, after this one it are from the same Hot Topic I got them at. But I went to a different Hot Topic to get this one because they did not have them at the one I got these guns at. But yeah, so I do I do like the balloon and I obviously it had to be shown to the head, which obviously it's not a big deal, uh, but people are going to be pissy about it. I feel like, like, you know, there there would be no other way to attach the balloon and make like, you know, have this balloon attached and not have it look have not have it be floppy it had to be attached to something so it could stand up which you know not a big not a big deal but to some people it's going to be because people these days they, they 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 just want things to be perfect and that's annoying uh now obviously here you know the the printing is more noticeable with the black outlines which i don't understand why they had to do that i don't know why funko had to do the black outlines like okay for me it's not a big deal but it may it's gonna make everything look more cheaper i guess but i don't know it looks fine for me uh but he does have a tail just like uh yoda foxy and his little little hat which i like his hat i really like this hat it's re it's very much you know like the ordinary you know baseball balloon baseball balloon cap or whatever you want to call it uh and foxy's balloon is yellow which i i like and, and also the balloon material is the material of phantom foxy which i end the FNAF AR plushies, which I don't get why it is, as balloons aren't really this material, but I'm not complaining, it looks cool. Uh, and also, his eyebrows are printed on. Practically all these guys' eyebrows are printed on, but oh well. Our final plush for today now is Balloon Freddy, which I like this guy. He's cute, honestly. At least this one is. Which, peep, okay, everyone's been complaining about these guys, mainly for the ones that have been shown on in Discord and all that. Just so you guys know, because everyone seems to misjudge this, but every plush is not going to look the same. I know for like the 10 inch Nightmare Bonnie and Freddy plushies, they look exactly like they do in every store, but I don't know how they do that. They're, that's different, obviously. But these guys, the normal plushies, they're going to look different, so stop being pissy about it. Uh, but obviously, you know, Balloon Freddy's here is made the same way as Balloon Foxy with the balloon, so to his head, and, and, and okay. This time, Freddy, Balloon Freddy's eyebrows are sewn in, crocheted in to him, but everyone else has sewn on, and I don't understand that, but I don't care. I like, I like this, I like this more mainly due to the fact that it kind of represents Balloon Boy as well, obviously, since it's Balloon, it's a Balloon character, and his little Balloon cap up here is pretty cute as well. I like it. I like this a lot. Uh, you know, black outlines on the printing, or whatever. It's noticeable, but really, I don't care, and that's all the plushies I have to review for now uh like i can't because like, obviously you know there's still more that have yet to either come out or just i haven't been able to find them yet but this is all for now and now we're gonna get on to the pops all right now we're gonna get on to the pops which i will let you know i have every single pop that has been released even one keychain pop which uh or i don't even i don't know what, i don't remember what the proper name is uh it's pocket pops okay i just i, I looked right now uh, but yeah, also I moved these guys over so I could have room for the pops and uh, you know, you heard me I have every single pop and I got all of these at FYE uh, Which FYE is selling FNAF merch again, thankfully uh, You know, 
it's it's good that they're doing that because FYE at, for a long time has not sold FNAF merch. At least the one that I've gone to because there's obviously some FYEs in like UK or something that are probably still selling FNAF merch, old or new, whatever. But the one I'm going to is starting to sell them again and it's mainly with these guys. So I'm just going to move all of these out of the way to start off with uh, Circus Freddy and I'm going to get them out of the box. And here is Circus Freddy, the pop at least. And obviously you can see that, you know, he's smiling with that goofy grin and those blacked out eyes. Uh, but I like the pop. And uh, obviously he has the three white buttons on this side for whatever reason. His bow looks really good. And I'm glad that Funko is actually making FNAF pops again. It's been too long. Uh, and he also has a little freaking tail. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, you know, the, you know, the FNAF Pops never cease to amaze me, really. You know, they always, you know, do, do very good. Funko always does good on their Pops, mainly because it's their entire freaking brand. But, you know, there's not much to say about Circus Freddy. Otherwise, you know, he's doing this, you know, little pose. He's the, he practically the ringleader of the circus, probably. At least that's what it's making it. I, I don't know where to put this guy. I'll just put him right here. Uh, and yeah. All right. Now, moving on. Circus Foxy. And here is Circus Foxy, which obviously the pops can be more expressive than the plushies because the plushies have certain articulations and, well, not articulations, but they have certain features that can't really make them all that expressive. But the pops can, and obviously you can tell he's meant to be sad. Uh, and for whatever reason, the pop here has two has two tiers on both sides, or, or just a, one tier on both sides, but this guy only has one on one side. I don't know why. Uh, but obviously you can tell he's meant to be a sad clown a clown god damn it uh you know you have his old you have all his details here and also right here the overalls all tightened up to this just this one point right here but on the plush it goes to two so don't get why the design is practically different for some of these guys but i don't really care he has his little tail it's cute and i like it i like this guy uh, you know, obviously, you know, you know, this wave is obviously kind of controversial to some people, mainly due to the fact that it kind of takes the FNAF brand a different way, and but not in a way that people will think it's a good thing, and I don't know why, but yeah. Now, we are moving on to, this, to the balloons, and all of the balloon characters have been made, and starting off with Balloon Freddy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna start off with the Pocket Pop. And here is the tiny pocket pop of Balloon Freddy, which this was the only one I was able to find. Uh, obviously, I know there's like a Balloon Foxy, at least I'm pretty sure. But this was the only one I was able to find, and uh, I don't really collect the pocket pops all that much. I mean, I collect them, but I don't really care for them. Uh, I'm not going to take this thing off because it's just the hanger. Uh, but obviously, you can see, you know, it, it's, it's cool how, you know, much de how much detail can be put into the Pocket Pops for given their size. And, you know, it looks cool. Also, it's strange how, you, you know, the watermarking is right there uh, on his, like, neck or whatever. Not, but under his head. You, you know what I mean. You know, it's cool, and but not something I would really think be... I, I really don't think it'd be worth collecting this, mainly due to the fact that it's just, just keychain. That's about it. But, okay, now actually moving on to the main thing. I dropped it. And here is Balloon Freddy, which, you know, practically looks the same like the plush and the keychain. It's, it, you know, it's it's cool. It's meant to be cute. And, you know, yeah. I've also noticed, I've also kind of took a minute to notice that all the balloon characters all are, like, they all look like children. Which, you know, obviously I don't think, I think is maybe intentional, but I don't really know. And I also don't really care all that much. Uh, but also, the balloon here is also attached to his head. Which I would think given, you know, it being this uh, being an articulate figure. Uh, you know, it would, there would be some, there, like it wouldn't be attached to his head. But then again, it's a pop figure. Pop figures are meant to have mobility. And it's fine. It works here. Whatever. Uh, and yeah, there is Balloon Freddy. Not much to say about him. He can't stand there. He's still right there. Now moving on to Balloon Bonnie. And here is Balloon Bonnie, which we don't really have a Balloon Bonnie plush or figure, which is strange. 
uh, uh, but we also don't have Circus Bonnie here or Circus Chica as pop figures. So yeah, uh, and you know, Balloon Bonnie here has a pink balloon in his main color scheme for his vest and hat. Or I keep I keep calling this a vest. His shirt and his hat is pink and red, which kind of fits surprisingly. <coughs> kind of choked on something right there. Uh, you know, it's meant to. Be, this is you know, it's cute. Whatever. There's not much to say about these guys, uh, except he does have his little bunny tail, which is an actual bunny tail, and yeah, it looks cool. It looks good. It looks cute. What it's, it's what it meant to be. Uh, now moving on to Balloon Foxy, which this guy right here has suffered some damage from his box for whatever reason. And here is Balloon Foxy, which unlike his packaging, you know, he's in good condition and practically looks the same as his, his plush and everything. Uh, which, you know, I'm glad there's not much to these guys, which, you know, obviously, look, I, if I had the time, I would talk more about them, but I obviously talk, talk about some of them with their plushies and everything. And also the, also, you know, I have time crunch, whatever you get the point. Hopefully you do, but yeah, there's not much to him. He practically, you know, looks the same. He's cute. He's cool. Okay. Now on to our last thing to review, which is Balloon Chica. And here is Balloon Chica, and there is actually a Balloon Chica plush, obviously, which I hope you guys know, but that is a Walmart exclusive, and it's yet to be released. Uh, but when it does release, I'll obviously get it and make a video on it. Uh, but right now, you know, this is all we have. And, you know, she's cute, and I'm. <laughs> it's kind of funny how her tough stuff hair stay out, you know, and they're not under the hat and everything. Uh, but, you know, she, he, like, you know, her main color scheme with her uh, shirt and hat here is uh, purple and red. Not pink and red, at least I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, obviously she has a purple balloon and, you know, it looks cool. And her little fat, this little chicken feet right here, you know, it's good. I, like, not much to say about it, which, yeah. Okay, obviously I've made this video... Try, I haven't really talked much about the pops, mainly because I haven't really reviewed any pops, and I'm not really much of a pop collector. I mean, I'm starting to get, obviously get more into the pops, but they're not really something I think I'd wor that are worth, you know, talking about on my channel, which I'm not saying I don't like the pops. I like the pops, obviously, but, like, there's not much to them that I can really talk about. Like, nothing really, nothing about them really interests me all that much, really. But, yeah, that, that's all I really have to say. And so, obviously, here is all of... What I have for the circus merch, obviously, there's still things like the mystery minis, which I actually have gone some of them, but like the pops, I don't really review the mystery minis on here. The only things that are worth reviewing about FNAF merch on here is the action figures and plushies. Really, that, that that's what people mostly come for. Uh, but yeah, either way, that is going to be it. I am going to get back to editing Morbius movie. Mainly editing my refilm stuff because obviously if you didn't watch my updated video, all of the first half, practically almost all of the first half, but not everything, almost everything got deleted and I've had to refilm it and editing has took way too long and I really don't want to continue it, but uh, the better I get it done, the more, the, the better the chance you'll have it, which hopefully you will have it soon. Uh, so yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good day. Okay, goodbye. Oh!